Becky, let's bring in Mike Manley, CEO of AutoNation, joining us just a few minutes after the company released its uh, Q4 results, which beat the street on both the top and the bottom line. Mike, thank you for joining us this morning. I want to talk about your results because you had a huge quarter, both on the new and the use side, as well as with services. And on the new side, I was particularly struck by the gross profit per new vehicle, a big spike there. What's driving that? Is it simply that the MSRP has moved up on these vehicles? Are you charging above MSRP? What, what's really driving that at this point? Yeah, Phil, the quarter was fantastic, and I was incredibly pleased with, uh, with the results. And for me, I kind of put the results into two categories. I put the results, firstly, what element of those results are due to the supply shortage and what element of those results are now structural and will live beyond the pandemic? And I think you're right, new vehicles, obviously, with the supply and demand um, equation we have at the moment, that has driven new vehicle prices up to around the MSRP level. But in the results, and I don't want this to be missed, there are a number of things that are going to survive beyond this pandemic. I, our control on SGNA, for example, our margin that we're now seeing and our volume on used vehicles, as well as our F&I income. So strong, strong results. So you asked me the question about new vehicle margin. Is it selling above MSRP? I can tell you, Alternation, last year, less than 2% of our vehicles were sold above MSRP. So what I think you're seeing is a general lift from that heavy discounting that you saw back in 2018, early 2019, has gone from the market because of the inventory levels. And the speculation is, how long will that last in the future? And I have my view on that. Mike, you took over uh, at the end of last year. Uh, when well, you came in, you were hired end of last year, and you took over early this year. You came from Fiat Chrysler, where you were running North America for Fiat Chrysler, and you were in the auto business for so many years on the manufacturing side. What's your take on the chip crisis right now? When you not just with Fiat Chrysler, but for all companies, you deal with all of the automakers. What's your sense in terms of how long this lasts and the supply is constrained? So the very first thing is it's unpredictable. We've seen that. We've seen OEMs talk about what they think they're going to produce in the first quarter and then have to correct those production levels. And I think that's really indicative of where we are. I believe strongly we're coming to the end of this pandemic period, but there are still going to be ripple effects in the supply chain. You know, when I think about the industry this year, in my view, I think we're going to get some stability maybe in the second quarter in terms of forecasting, and then we're going to get improvements in the third and fourth quarter. But I don't think you're really going to see inventory levels begin to recover until you get well into the second half. Mike, on the used car revenue, up 55 percent, um, just a huge spike. And we know how hot that market is right now. Do you sense that's going to cool off at all, or do you expect this to be the case for all of 2022? No, I think what we need to do is just dig underneath that number because people talk about used car margins driving all of that improvement. That's not actually the case with AutoNation. Our used volume was up over 20% in the quarter, so that was a big driver. You know, if you go back to 2018, 2019, the average percentage margin on a used vehicle was about 7.8, 7.9, and frankly, it hasn't moved off that point even to today. What we've seen, obviously, is an appreciation in used car prices. Now, you are going to see a moderation in that. In fact, in the first month, I would say we've already begun to see the signs of that. But the impact, even if that moderates, frankly, is not going to be huge because what really drove that result was the big improvement we've seen in the efficiency of our used vehicle sales plus the additional sites that we bought on stream. So a moderation in prices, in my view, for sure. But I still think there's so much demand that there is upside on the volume side. Mike, we're running up against a break, so a quick answer here. You had so many people who bought vehicles by ordering them in advance, and you still see that going on right now. Is that the new way you think people will be buying new vehicles in the future? Yeah, I think now what you've seen is uh, people have got used to that. It wasn't in the industry a few years ago. I think it enables them to get exactly what they want. The next thing we need to do is to shorten that delivery time from order, and that's something the OEMs are really focused on.